So we are here at Aeroworks as usual and behind me, well now in front of me, there's uh, the clean room. Be the clean room at least and uh, now there's new flooring put in. So this black marble looking tile. Um, there's going to be an Aeroworks logo that goes right here and then this is the custom built light panel that uh, Phil uh, assembled and so they're the same as all the other light panels over there and then here we have my car in here and it, someone had said that it looks like uh, one of those video game scenes where uh, you unlock a new car and that's what it does seem like might be a little noisy right now because they're polishing uh, 300 SL in the back there and uh, so this area does look pretty fucking dope So up close detailed look at everything on the car in some good lighting. And then the E88s. So the one thing that I think I mentioned when I was washing the wheels is that the polished lip does get stained very easily. So um, it is recommended to ceramic coat them and protect them. And back then I didn't really care too much for ceramic coating and uh, and uh, PPF, but now it's like, I already got a rock chip on my wrap, so when I do get this car painted, whenever, yeah right there, rock chip already, so the car's ruined, the car's totaled. Um, and then the hood, we'll deal with that later. This is too many bubbles when they painted it, so when the repaint comes, and then one area this area got chipped right here in between the fender and the skirt. We had to adjust the fitment a little bit. Um, so one time when I was jacking it up, I guess it was too tight. And I guess it is cracking right here as well. So fiberglass, normal stress crack areas. And then here we have the EVS mirrors. And with the silver base, so my black bases should be coming soon. Um, but I'm still torn because these are someone else's and as per usual I have uh, taken them from someone using them in the meantime it's just I feel like E88s are not as photogenic as they are like they don't look as good as they do in, in, in person as they do in pictures and right now my fitment on this side is a uh, pretty perfect with that 20 mil spacer so right now my effective offset is a negative 5 18 by 10 and a half plus 15 and then plus 20 mil spacer so it's a negative 5 offset um, if you guys want E88s let me know and then in the roll bar department here this is an EVS roll bar um, unfortunately you guys can see how close my head is to the roll bar but I mean if I get T-bone or if I roll probably gonna die um, it is a old car and so many people are asking about my steering wheel setup so NSX type S horn there is a tutorial on how to flush mount it this is a black on black Monte Carlo 320 millimeter and then work spell short hub with a work spell quick release and then the shift knob department I have an Arvo shift knob which is by far my favorite knob um, I still haven't seen anyone else using it but I got this as a in a trade with a Sergio, um, I traded a spoon titanium knob for this and this knob has been with me for probably the longest of all the knobs. Um, I just like the shape and the ergonomics and the color is pretty cool. And then seats, we have the Recaro uh, pole position ABEs. So the ABEs are the street equivalent. So they have this cushioning right here, which the old pole positions did not, which made it feel like cardboard on the old pole positions. Oh god, it is so dusty. Top down life. And then this is the Takata ASM 4 point, um, which I would prefer a 6 point, but we'll deal with that at a later point in time. So if anyone wants to trade for some 6 points for some Takatas, I'd be down. Willens, Schroth, whatever. Hans, preferable. Um, soft top is dusty. And then this is a Voltex type. 3, which is a J's Type 2, so this curvature is meant for smaller cars like the FD and the S2000, and this one is the dry carbon. 
but we are going to be getting rid of this very soon. Um, a new swan neck will be coming in. And then one detail that I think a lot of people have not noticed is the K1 Labs, the top of it has been wrapped, but the bottom is still carbon. It's going to be kind of dark. Um, so it's kind of like your M3 CSL style um, trunk. So a very Euro feel. And then the exhaust is going soon. It's not as loud as I would like it to be, even though I don't want to be too loud, but it's a little bit too quiet. Um, but just overall look and walk around. It's just this lighting looks really, really, really good. Oh, baby. Um, so if you guys aren't familiar with Aeroworks, um, here we have the other side. So A12, super fast. Um, exhaust is going on that car. Uh, there is an exhaust downpipes, test pipes, sorry, test pipes going on the LaFerrari um, 300 SL. So Paco and Carlos are working on that. Uh, basically paint correction. And the owner also has a really clean 240Z that we'll see if we get to see um, another time. So the SF90 is outside. Uh, Mike's Mansory of Venador is also outside. Um, Ryan's, so Ryan's Huracan is right there. We've probably talked about before. Working on um, this 570S, uh, Mr. I Sell Coin. Um, I think that's his Instagram. And then Supra. And there's a Varus, uh, there's a Varus, what do you call it? Uh, Varus Civic Type R on the other side. And there's also, oh, also Integra Type R over there. So uh, let me finish up taking some photos on this side and then uh, I'll take you guys walk around and see the, uh, the other side. So anyways, we turned my car around, took some more photos, try to put them in. Um, <coughs> so I'll show you guys a little bit of what's in the shop right now, I guess. I don't think I've ever posted this one. Probably recorded it multiple times. So this is a 300 SL. Um, full paint correction and this car is a uh, pretty ballin if you didn't know luggage case in the back there so this a12 is getting a, I think it's getting a rift exhaust as well so they're currently putting together the quick jack um, James is over here putting on the hydraulic fluid putting in the hydraulic fluid right Oh, you put transmission fluid into it? Is that, what the fuck? I don't know how, I don't know how these things work. So each air, each quick jack has one of these. Basically, I think. <laughs> so even if we have it at home, even if we build it at home, then you still need this? Okay. Rip. Um, LaFerrari still waiting for its downpipes because that car's there's no instructions on how to take these cars apart so the man here James is uh, the one responsible for doing all these uh, these things that don't have instructions <laughs> and then the wheels here are for the G-Wagon they just got refinished um, Brabus wheels and then um, going outside so back outside we go so here is the SF90 and then Ryan SEMA build um, Huracan so SF90 I've seen there's a lot of them already that have arrived and it's your entry-level hypercar Standard carbon ceramics. Um, this car does not have the stripe on the front, which I actually kind of like it without the stripes better. Um, tail lights. And the one thing that I, I don't know if I, oh, I can get it today, yes. So the engine is mounted really, really low. Um, let's see if I can get the focus right there. Yeah, it's really, really low. And then you can't, there's really no rear visibility. And then here, the arrow. This part's kind of cool but the horse logo, then the horsey kind of sticks out a little bit. Um, and then I think I've talked about Ryan's car already. And then here is Mike's, Mr. Mike's Aventador, um, full mansory kit. And this car is a roadster.
I really, I really like these wheels. Kind of like the Revenson wheels, but a lot of people don't like it. But that's personal preference. Uh, but I mean, we've seen so many Aventadors that it's kind of, you know, yeah. And then an M4 on some LMs. Um, I think that's the is that the diamond black finish. I actually don't know what finish this is. Um, but obviously I'm a big BBS fan. I'm a big wheel connoisseur. Uh, this car is really clean. I actually really like black cars. I really wanted to black out my car. Quad. BRZ on some RPF1s. So, really cool Integra Type R. Uh, really good condition, uh, but I think it has been restored. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. So, another customer car. I, met, I was talking to him yesterday. He has a Type R on OG Bronze T37s. RSGs in the, uh, in the suede. I didn't know these ones were suede. I actually really wanted these ones, but now that the car is kind of like pink fuchsia, I don't know if that's a that's a good idea so 3000 GT this car has the heaviest stock clutch I've ever stepped in or stepped on um, this is a 7 series I cannot tell <sighs> new Lincoln and then 992 oh well there's Philip there's uh, Vincent Civic gonna get repainted after this wrap gets taken off so there's a such thing called wrap cancer so like that stuff is when the sun gets to it and it eats through the finish this one's not as bad I think it's worse on the other side I don't remember um, I think he wants to get rid of these wheels after many many years uh, craft squares Jay's racing signature Jay's racing wheel um, 993 and a 992 and then Miata getting a color change and then the, the Panda Mess 2000 which you guys have seen and so this car is the one hopefully I get to shoot it it has a full Varus front fascia um, pretty dope and it has wet TC105 and X's or I forgot what the code name is uh, or name is Varus side skirts here super ball and so the Varus bumper itself is like 2500 I think um, and I forgot I don't think this car has the canards um, I don't know how much the price difference is because I'm not too big into VAR stuff because I don't want to be full text wing um, good choice um, don't really like APR wings on on a FK8 but once again I get functionality over you know whatever HKS exhaust um, I do believe he's getting more goodies for his car but I'm not sure um, so you guys can follow his Instagram here somewhere and there's an ultraviolet GT3 RS with a yellow cage and a Sharkworks exhaust and that shit was loud as fuck. Um, <clears throat> my ears were hurting, but it still has valves. So I guess that's a plus, right? Um, so anyways, yeah, I think that's a it for today. And I uh, gotta go do some other stuff, so. Uh, I guess I will catch you guys later.